Not a damn paradise. Alright, y'all. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So, um, going over the emails and talking to a lot of my subscribers, you know, having consultation with people, people from different walks of life. So, um, they want to know how can they stop thinking about that previous loved one or the person they just been in there got out of, of a relationship with. How can they stop thinking about that person? So the first thing you want to do is this. You have to accept it. There's nothing you can do. You can't force someone to be with you. There's no trick or gimmick. You can't threaten or you know manipulate your way back into the relationship. You just have to accept it. You understand? Just accept it, accept that it's over, and move on. The second thing what you want to do is this. Cut all contact with that person. That means no phone calls, no emails, no staying close with the friends and family members, no none of that stuff, none of that stuff. Because the thing is like this, in order for a wound to heal, you have to leave it alone. Just cover it up with a band-aid. Don't keep picking at it because if you keep picking at it, it'll never heal. So what I'm trying to say is this. Cut all contact, emails, phone calls, friends, family, any kind of you know, association that you have with that person, cut it. Now, if you have kids with this person, I totally understand you have to interact with this person. And the best way to do that is the gray rock method. Just look what the gray rock method mean. I mean, it means it, it means for you to associate with this person with a dry, bland, boring conversation type, you know, way. You no, know, just no excitement in your conversation whatsoever. And the last thing you want to do is really, really intensely focus on yourself. Work on yourself nonstop. I mean, getting your finances in order, getting your mental in check, you know, just check, you know, get your mental, just become strong and mentally um, and being becoming financially free and just improving your life in every area. See, the ultimate goal in life is freedom. You know, you understand? And freedom is this. Freedom is when you can live life on your terms. Whatever you want to do or think of, you do it. No matter what it is, just don't hurt nobody. You know, that's the ultimate goal in life. And the last thing, which would should have been the first one, is this. You have to put God first. We all get weak and fall sometimes, you know, and stumble every now and then. So that's why you have to put God first. I'm not saying you have to join some kind of religious group or, you know, something like that. But just... Pray to God, help him, tell, I mean, tell him to help you in your darkest time. Trust me when I say this, I'm living proof for everything I say. In your darkest times, and when you pray to God, that's when he show up. That's when, you know, he show up and show you that I'm real. But with that being said, this is another little quick video. Just, you know, just trying to make something that help you get through the day. Just trying to add some kind of value to your life. That's all I'm trying to do. But if you need to get in contact with me, you know, so we can um, talk it out or something like that, you can send me an email or you can um, text me on WhatsApp. The number's here on the screen. Um, or you don't, if you don't want to do that, um, you can um, check out my books on Amazon. Just go to Amazon, put in Warm at Fed and Books. All of them pop up. And one more thing for this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the videos if you want to, but like, subscribe. Now, with that being said, peace. Take care of yourself.